Helen Walsh is the youngest of the Walsh sisters and she's the last one to have a book written about her which is called The Mystery of Mercy Close and Mammy Walsh says about Helen Walsh that when they made Helen they broke the mould and at least we have that to be grateful for. Um, she's a one-off. Um, the five words to describe Helen would be loner, narky, private detective, inventor of the shovel list and homeless. Um, and her most marked characteristic would be is that she doesn't believe in fear, that there's no such thing as fear. It was just something invented by men so that they'd get all the money and the good jobs. And her motto or her kind of approach to life would be walk softly and carry a big shovel. Um, she doesn't really have a favourite anything. Um, she, her, there's no such thing as a favourite song. She thinks all music is just ugly noise. Um, if you asked her who her dream man was, she'd just laugh and say that all men are pitiful, except um, your man who played the husband in Borgen. Um, she wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating crisps. Um, cats or dogs, she hates all animals. Um, my uh, television, though, she does watch a lot of uh, scandal crime. Um, her favourite colour is black. And if she was made ruler of the world, her first uh, rule would be to um, outlaw all non-black cars, uh, or, or bl black anything, everything has to, her favourite colour is black. She thinks colours are just a kind of a plot to distract us and waste our time. Um, she doesn't believe in hot drinks. The only thing she'll drink is Diet Coke. Um, the only thing she'll eat is Cheerios. Um, uh, she's fantastic. She's fabulous. Anyway, right, this is Helen's bag. It is very, very enormous and very heavy because her entire life is in it. Because you see, when you're a private detective, you never know when you might get called. So you have to be ready to go right now. I'm coming. Slams down the phone. Hurry. Right, so here's the things. Right, so here's her staple diet, her Cheerios and her Diet Coke. She would be nothing without these. Now, she wears orange runners a lot of the time, but she does have very high dangerous shoes just in case. She's a very sexy boyfriend, Artie. So just in case Artie um, says, come on over or whatever, or come on out, um, she has them handy. Now she has, um, her car is a Fiat 500. This is not black. She actually would be very annoyed if she saw that. We'll pretend, we'll pretend she didn't. Say nothing, tell her nothing about that. Now, um, she has binoculars for spying on people. Um, she has a load of other, like incredible, um, tiny, um, what are the cameras and yokes, amazing. This, I love her makeup bag. It's so evil looking. It's so completely her. Um, and she's got, things inside, especially big on the concealer, uh, other lovely things, orange. See, she will tolerate small amounts of orange, red or yellow, um, only small amounts. Um, this is a scarf, which actually plays a very important plot point in her life. Um, You'll read about it in the book. Uh, this is her wallet, again, kind of evil looking. Um, this now is her shovel. It's only a small one, it's just a portable one. Obviously she has a much, much bigger shovel um, that lives in the house. But just in case she was out one day and something really annoyed her, she could just hold the shovel and just visualise hitting the thing or the person just to belt in the club with their little shovel. It's nice because it's got little red bits on it as well, you know? Um, just it, it helps her with her kind of habitual intolerance and crankiness. Um, we have, now this is now a very nice, she loves um, Christmas faiths and particularly brick a brick -a brack when she calls them brick of crap counters and she found these at a brick of crap counter and uh, got into a fight with a little girl over them a little pink nine-year-old little pink little girl who also saw them at the same time but anyway it all worked out for the end the best in the end because the little pink girl introduced her to her father 
who happened to be arty the ride. Um, so anyway, it all worked out very nicely. So they have a special place in her life. Um, makeup remover because you never know where you're going to end up. Oh, the killing loves the Saralons, any of that kind of stuff. Knickers because you could be called away at a moment's notice and you know you have to have clean knickers. Um, oh, makeup, sunblock, what have we here? Oh, styling lotion for the hairs. Um, a little torch, she's mortified by this. It's got some unidentified Arsenal player on it. Um, but she was short of money and she needed a torch and this was all they had. And uh, it does work, you know? So she keeps her hand over it like that so nobody will see the Arsenal, the unidentified Arsenal player and mock her. Um, now, this is very, very, very hard. This is her makeup. It's dark blue metallic, fabulous. That is who she is. Um, then uh, toothbrush because you could be called away at a moment's notice, sunglasses, uh, socks, oh yeah her guilty pleasure is new socks, the, the feel of new socks on her little feet. Um, a fan, god alone knows why, except uh, it's in there. Um, oh right, she's a couple of pieces of jewellery. Um, this very very her the black heart of Helen Walsh now her boyfriend has a little girl who's very very pink and who gave her this and insisted that she wear it now Helen would rather set herself on fire than wear a hello kitty ring but she does carry it in the bag out of loyalty to Bella and then she has a nice hair clip which is a skull and one more thing which Artie gave her Artie's her fella um, it's well, it's orange, which is acceptable. It's in the colour range. And it's um, it's a perfume sort of thing. But it's, um, you know, when you're a private detective, you often have to spend long periods of time, like waiting in your car or in smelly places. So he gave it to her so that the smelly places wouldn't be quite so smelly. So he's very kind to her, really. And and she kind of lets him be kind to her, which is progress. So, so this is Helen.